So I've been working on this a low poly bowl. I also made a low poly plate and spoon and I'm going for a full 3D printed kitchen set. Not necessarily because you want to print it but because you might want to make a mold out of your print and then make something actual, actually edible out of. Uh, because when you do stuff on this bottom layer stuff's going to get stuck in there and get nasty. So don't don't try that. It won't won't come out happy. Um, but I thought I would go through how I'm going to make a mug. So this will be the low poly count mug. Uh, we'll need to know the diameter. Yeah, diameter of the mug going to put in there, I don't know how big mugs are, how many inches is in one, inches to millimeters, I'd say a mug's like 3, 4, 100 millimeters, we'll go with that, uh, we'll need to know the height of said mug, 200 millimeters, I don't know if that's I'm make it a small mug, a real small mug. <laughs> um because I'm really not sure on measurements. I'm bad at that in my head, visualizing it I guess. Uh and then we'll need the wall thickness. Uh Probably do like two mil. That I can do. Uh, and then we'll grab the handle thickness. The handle should be thicker, I think. And uh, what, what else do you want? What else? Uh, we could put a um, an icon on the front. Front icon. And then it would also be kind of cool to either put like your name or another icon on the bottom. Right, so bottom icon. I say icon, but it really could be any text on both of these. Um, yeah. So let's let's get started with that. I think so. Let's just go grab some random font, awesome icons like. I do, um, I don't have a mustache, let's just do Pied Piper. We'll do the, what I think is the real Pied Piper icon <laughs> on the front. And then the actual one on the bottom, I got it. Since they are cylindrical, we'll do that. Do a diameter of diameter and do a height of height. And you can also go in here and say these things, and it'll actually do it. It's weird there. Woohoo. So apparently it doesn't. I thought you could. Weird. Okay, well, that looks weird. That definitely looks like more of a mug. That's more muggish to me. Um, 
Oh, and since we're doing everything low poly, we will need Lucian. how many sides we want it to have. We'll just call it resolution because sides entails all sides, whereas we're going to have the handle, and that won't be the same. Let's make it global. Resolution. Bam. Five sides. To a triangle. That is another trick. Uh, if you set this a um, a sphere, the diameter will have that many sides. On a cylinder, the diameter will have that many sides. On a cube, it doesn't matter. This only matters on rounded things. But a nice thing to know. Make a stop sign. And then let's do a difference. Just this difference is the difference, like math, like minus sign. This object minus that object. Uh, and then diameter, I'm going to do minus the wall thickness times 2. And I'm going to put that in parentheses so it does that operation first. I know it should already, but whatever. I'm doing times 2 because if you do it minus 1, it'll go all the way around. So I want it to go off of one side, off of the other side. I guess all sides. There you go. See? Without that times two, very thin walls. So there's that, yay! We have that. And then, what we should do is come here and translate this one so that we don't take away that bottom, the floor. Um, and let, let's make another one called bottom thickness. Cause mugs are mugs are generally thicker on the bottom, right? So there you go. So now it's thicker on the bottom. We could make it, however thick we want it to be. But that's very thick. Uh, and that's that. So that is definitely a nice basic mug. Looking good, looking good. Um, hmm. Let's start doing that handle. So... I'm going to make this a module. I'm actually going to do two modules. Two separate objects. One's going to be this one, and it's going to be mug added. Mug added. And then mug taken. Mug taken. Okay, that still works. This is still mug does the exact same thing, just with a lot more code. But now we can reuse those, and that'll be handy with our um, handle here. So, Uh, 
rotate T A T E extrude a what we're gonna call this handle a circle with the diameter of handle thickness and we're going to translate it out either the x and the y hand size so another variable for hand size so you have real big hands you want a bigger cup that's why 3d printing is cool because you can make it if you want it uh, so, so let's just try that out I have to put the module somewhere and exclamation makes it so that we only render that well, what are we getting must have the same x unknown variable handle well I definitely did that that there oh I didn't put handle size here hand size okay now what's this must have the same x coordinates on water model wall huh There we go. So it has to be in the X, not the Y. Excuse me, I thought it could be either. Um, so there's our circle. And that is also being taken over by this resolution. <clears throat> so should have a, yeah, almost like that. We aren't going to keep it there because that's impossible to print. I guess not possible. But a lot of overhang and a lot of bridging. And it's kind of cool though to put it under there. Maybe we'll make another thing, print it in NinjaFlex so you can put it on the bottom. But what I want to do is come bring this and rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees. So we're like that. And then we want to translate it up the thickness and what is it the height okay so that's middle is at the height so then height minus the hand size divided by two mm. oh yeah, it just needs to be hand size because I'm translating out and then rotating, so it's really the radius is the hand size. Sweet. And then go out hand size. Not that direction. That direction. Like that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. Now, what we do is we say that goes there, this comes out, and we do difference again, another one of these between, and this is why I made added and taken so that I can do the handle minus mug taken. And that'll go out. What I really could do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I could just come up here, do, I could either do a union here. 
So these are now the same thing. Take take that all out. Same deal. Or you can even go another way, make it so you have to have a handle, and put it right up in mug taken. Again, same exact thing. So maybe I'll do that. And talk about if you want to handle, I should do an if statement. Uh, handle if handle equals true then also put a handle in there handle I'll reorganize and make these things all in a happy happy way later so they make sense they're in order uh, yeah okay so there's a handle there's not a handle. So, um, should we do a different resolution for the hand? Sure, why not? Handle resolution equals 20. So, we will come to the handle and let's just everything in the handle bfn handle resolution yeah look at that snazziness um I also yeah so I did like the handle resolution being smaller. I think that's cool. Um, but I also want, because mugs generally have like a teardrop shape in in their handle. I'm trying to think of how I could do that. That handle should definitely be thicker. Um, can I have that in here? Handle thickness. So also, talking about that, I should come in here and translating it in the Z should also minus the uh, handle thickness. That'll bring it down, uh, maybe, yeah, handle thickness divided by 2. We're dealing with like, I think that'll do it. Make it so that that goes straight up to the top, not not past it like it was. And that makes it nice because no mug has it all the way up at the top. It's always a little bit down. Uh, I want to make it a teardrop thing, but I'm not sure how exactly I would do that. So I'm not going to. I am going to do this the, the front icons and back icons and all that so do I want to emboss or do I want to bring it out I think on the front I'll bring it out and on the bottom I will emboss so here I have my taken I'm going to add it, hmm. So I'm going to make this a module called mug no text. And then I'm going to do difference with mug no text and I'm going to go I'm going to actually go and look at one of my old uh, 
projects here where we did the fall and toss some stuff. Fall and toss magnets come in here. I do this often. That. I want that. If you've made it before, you can definitely use it again. So there's Mug No Text and that. So I'm just going to set this. I don't want it to be fixed. I'll make it half as deep as the um, bottom. Bottom thickness divided by two. And then the icon will be doing the bottom icon right now. Size, okay. Icon size. That's your font size. Icon size. Yeah. That looks cool. Go and you're taking a drink. Other people are saying, Pied Piper. Sweet. And then the front icon. Okay, the front icon I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it raised. I'm gonna bring it out. So in order to do that, I'm going to. Uh -huh -huh. Okay. I think the best way to go about this is to actually take take what I have, make, ah, so I'm already doing a difference and I want to add to it, I'm just going to add it, not even do any of that stuff. So I'm going to grab this again, going to actually rotate it. on the x-axis, 90 degrees. So I should be able to actually, oh, look, there it is. So we're not gonna be doing the bottom icon, we're gonna be doing the front icon. We're gonna put that front icon right up on there. I'm gonna do front icon size different than the bottom icon size because I want the bottom one to be bigger. Yeah. Let me make it even bigger down there. So, this is still icon size, icon size, front icon size. There we go. Different sizes. And then I want to take that and I want to translate that outwards so that is in the y-axis and I want to translate it out the um, diameter divided by 2. So I'll actually put it right out there. And then I want to make it tall, like up at the front of it. So I'm going to do the height divided by two, right in the middle. It's not quite touching. I think that that would change if I um, came in here and changed my resolution. 
Yeah, see there it's actually touching, whereas before it wasn't. Huh. Um. Well, I like them being more off, you know, low poly. So I think I'm just going to make an offset setting. Offset. Yeah. Icon. Depth. Offset. Something like that. I can just make it icon. Depth, really. Um, and then negative five. So I'll add that in plus icon icon underscore depth. Well that made it way deep. Probably only needed it to be one. There we go. See, it is that top button. It is actually touching. So, maybe I don't want it to be quite that protruded. So, there we go. So, now your Pied Piper icon on front, Pied Piper other icon on bottom. That's cool because you have one popping out, one going in. What if we wanted actual, ooh, that is an issue. Okay, I'll just leave it there. I'd have to reset the font if I wanted it to be not font awesome text. And that just seems like a lot of work. So I was going to have it wrap around. Again, that would be very difficult with different resolutions. I would have to know, I would have to take how many I have for each letter, rotate it around the number of sides divided by 360. If you're wondering how to do that, that's how you'd go about it. And that looks like it's about it. I can't think of anything else that you might want, you know, so let's go and experiment with it now. The best thing to do is try and break what you have. So 90, that still works. It's a crazy tall handle. But uh, do we have a handle height? Handle height. So we'll come here and where, where's my handle? Where's my handle? Here it is. Okay. So X, Y, Z here plus handle height. So I would do that. So I want the handle height to be a negative number. There you go. I think that's probably more realistic for your handle height. Uh, or, you know, you can come in here too and you can set if you want your handle height to be negative the height divided by 2 divided by 4 because we're already doing it. That'll make it center. Woohoo! And then your handle resolution, you can make a 4 give you a cool thing there. I wonder if it says three. Yeah. Five gives you more of a square. Six. Eight. Yeah. So that works. And then what if you go to like 90? You use a really smooth, like, this whole thing I think would work. Take off that handle height. Um, I think this whole mug 
would still work if you made your resolution like crazy high. See, it hides that Pi Piper thing at that point, but I guess that's why we have our offset icon depth. Bam. At that point, you might want to actually add one. It's not in the inside. It's still all right on the outside. It's pretty cool. Um, this front icon, I actually am going to... Ah, I got it. I have an idea. We don't need this icon depth. We'll leave it because we'll still use it, but we'll use it differently. We're going to come here, and we're going to find icon depth. There. Take that out. And we're actually going to take out that as well. So it's right in the middle. Looks you probably think that's terrible. Why the hell would you do that? Just watch. Got it. And then my linear extrude, I'm gonna make it uh the diameter. So crazy far out there extruded icon looks like terrible and then all of a sudden it won't look terrible when you do a if you do a difference of said icon and the mug no No text. Now, oh, what am I doing here? Difference. Do not mug no text, but I can do the mug taken. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks kind of weird, but once you run it out, it'll be fine. And then, once I have that, I can do an intersection with this whole thing of the difference and a mug added with a changed variable from diameter to, to to the diameter plus the icon depth. You have to spell things right. Bam, right there. You can kind of see it. Render it out, hit F6. Um, I think it would look better if I took my resolution down like a bunch. Handle resolution also doesn't need to be so high. Don't save that. Just on my desktop right now. But that'll make it so that the actual icon curves around with whatever shape you have on the surface of the cup, of the mug. I really shouldn't have made it so big. I just cancel. I just stop. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Now I can run it out with a lot less resolution and it'll finish up a ton quicker. See, so it actually curves around with the cup and it's popping out. This is still embossed in the bottom, which is way cool and that wraps around which is way awesome so that means that our icon size here can be huge if we want
Bam. Look how cool that is. Huge, huge icon on it. And it looks awesome. Some issue there. But, hey, still looks pretty sweet. I think I just made it so big that it's actually dropping down into the bottom. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we should be able to take any icon and put it on there. Take Tux here. And make it a little less big. Render that out. There you go. A Linux mug. Low poly Linux mug. Yay! On that same thing, you know. Since it's Linux, go and put a heart on it. So there's the heart on the bottom of our Linux mug. Um, ooh, this one would be cool since it's pretty circular. Ba 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 ba. Evil. Not not evil. I guess good. Good. All good things. <laughs> Um, you know, if you're a real big math person, put the, uh, oh, I just lost it. Guess I can search. <laughs> put these up there. Exponents and whatnots. And there you go. Super cool. I didn't realize that it inverts that. Hmm. Because of that. Yeah, it's definitely inverted. You definitely cannot read things if you put text there. We can fix that super easy. Just this. And we just do a scale negative one 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 I made it upside down uh, we want to flip it in the X direction okay so it's that one hey hey look at that Woohoo! Now it's done right! So you drink it, and other people will see that. Hmm. I don't know. You could rotate that around if you want it on the other side, I guess. But I'm cool with it. Set that lower, because I think it's cooler lower. Have your cool math icons. If you're a jet person, there you go. Or YouTuber. Go and put your YouTube there. And then you can go and put like the actual icon there. So cool. Okay. I know this video is getting quite lengthy, so I think that is it. Should be a pretty watertight uh, thing. Doesn't tell me I have any manifold issues, so I should be able to just do mug. Go into slicer. See what slicer thinks of mug. Oh, yep, yeah. manifold. Yes. So we have an our awesome manifold mug it looks like none of it is too terribly overhangy I mean it's kind of overhangy but you can add more to that it'll round it out make it not as bad 
So there you go. Um, I think that's about it. Save that and I'll put it up on you, Imagine. Thanks. Bye.